NYU was one of the best things that ever happened to me. I grew up in the Bronx. I was uh, poor. Uh, I was uh, uneducated and I'm the first member of my family ever to go to college. I very quickly realized that uh, theater was something that I was very drawn to. Putting on theater, writing theater, directing theater. Education theater, you know, provides an opportunity for students who, who don't think they want a career in acting, but want to use theater, use drama, uh, in a community setting or in a school. And it's interesting to hear John Patrick tell his path through NYU because at that theater he found his niche and he found his voice. And the amazing thing was, no matter what I wanted to do, NYU said, okay, and we'll pay for it. It was crazy, it was great. My first full-length play, which was the first play I ever wrote, uh, was produced several weeks, weeks, after I wrote it here at, uh, by the Washington Square Players. And then my next full-length play was also produced by the Washington Square Players in that house. And people from a professional theater in New York saw it and offered to remount it in a professional production. And lo and behold, the following season, while I was still here, I had my first professional production as a result of having had a play produced here. When I first came to NYU, I took a course called Reading and the Reader, and it was taught by a fellow named Terence Patrick Moran, who was incredibly erudite and charming and funny all at the same time, and sort of one of those teachers that you hope to get, maybe if you're lucky, get two or three in your whole life. Uh, and we became friends. So when I wrote Moonstruck, a very thinly disguised uh, version of Terry appeared and was played by John Mahoney. Fortunately, he's still speaking to me. We're still friends to this day. We're so proud of John Patrick. He you know, obviously had an amazing award-winning career. But what's special about him is he, he, he remembers and he values what he got here at NYU and giving it back to students. I see it just more of a responsibility that I got things from this place and I want to see it thrive and I want to be part of the reason that it does thrive. And when NYU contacted me and said that they wanted to give me an uh, honorary doctorate, I was doubly thrilled because it meant that I was going to have a double homecoming, both to NYU and to the Bronx, because it was going to take place in Yankee Stadium. And I felt sort of my life come full circle, sort of like rounding the plates in the stadium.